Hi, friends. Welcome back. Oh, it is bedtime over here. And this segment is called Bedtime Story with Mrs. Cat. I have my snuggle buddy from Jesus above here. This is Lucille. You know Mrs. Cat has seven kingdom kids. I do. So, as we get ready to start our story. Oh, hold on. You see my friends? <gasps> what time is it? It's time to choose our snuggle buddy. <gasps> oh, I'm so excited. Yes. <laughs> Lucille chose her snuggle buddy. Look. That's her snuggle buddy. And I'm going to choose one of Lucille's snuggle buddies, Miss Jelly Beans. Here's Miss Jelly Beans. So this is my snuggle buddy. Miss Lucille has her snuggle buddy. Do you have your snuggle buddy? All right. Well, I'm going to give you 10 seconds to go get your snuggle buddy. Ready? 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Well, I'm snug in my bed and I'm ready to read our story tonight. So let's get started. Hello, Kingdom Kids. So I wanted to come on and let you know that today we're doing a story that's different. It's from an author that we've read from before, Eric Carl. Um, and that story is coming up next. The reason why I wanted to acknowledge that is because I know that we have been reading the Bernstein Bears series and we will continue that next week. But for today, since... We're headed toward the end of summer, about to start a new school year here. I just wanted to read this story to you guys. So I hope you enjoy it and we will see each other later. You all have a blessed rest of the night and we'll see each other tomorrow for Bedtime Stories with Mrs. Cat, the Bible edition. All right, bye-bye. The Very Hungry Caterpillars First Summer by Eric Carl. Hooray! It's summer. Ready to play? There's so much to explore on a warm, sunny day. Clear blue sky above, not a cloud in sight. The weather is lovely, the sunshine just right. It's too hot for jackets and sweaters today. Shorts and t-shirts keep kids cool as they play. The temperature's rising and it's getting hot. Find some shade under trees for a cool resting spot. A gentle breeze blows like a soft lullaby. All is peaceful unless Noisy bugs are nearby. Chirp, 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 chirp. Click, click, click. But these ants march quietly, not making a sound. They smell something tasty. There's food to be found. The lemonade sour and ice cream sweet and a cold slice of watermelon helps beat the heat. Lunch may be finished, but there's one stop left to make. This day's not complete without a dip in the lake. Splash! Friends meet for a swim, enjoying the sun. Summer is the season of endless fun. Do not despise these small beginnings. 
For the Lord rejoices to see the work begin. Zechariah chapter 4, verses 10. <sighs> mm. Well, friends, that was a wonderful story. Mrs. Cat is tired, but before we go to sleep, did you enjoy the story? <sighs> That's good. Can you tell mommy and daddy who the main characters were in this story? Very good. Did they solve the problem in this story? Good. If they did, what was the solution? What did they agree upon to fix or solve the problem? Very good. Well, I couldn't go without letting you know that my very own snuggle buddy is in bed. You want to see? Okay. Well, Miss Cat's going to her bed. I'm nice and warm. And I will see you next time at Bedtime Stories with Miss Cat. Okay? Good night. Make sure to like, subscribe, and share. Good night.